artificial intelligence or AI is a hot topic these days. But what can artificial intelligence help us in the field of statistics? Or in other words, is it possible to run a statistical analysis with AI? Yes, it's possible, I'm sure. And in this tutorial, I teach you how can you write your statistical methods in some sentences and AI receive these sentences, process and report outputs. Okay, I'm Dr. Shah Mirzano, PhD in Biostatistics. And in these tutorials, I teach you some examples from statistical methods to run in AI and receive reports. This tutorials is the first part of tutorials about statistical analysis with AI. Then, if you have not followed on more than YouTube channels, press subscribe button and press notification buttons to be notified about new tutorials in the future, especially tutorials about statistical analysis with AI. Then, without any delay, let's go to training. Okay, guys, welcome to Amardon class. Now we are in a website named rtutor.ai. That this website use AI to run a statistical analysis in R uh, or R Studio. This website has some parts. For example, so you see a uh, an eight minutes YouTube video that introduced this websites and parts of this website. But in left hand side of this website, you see that there is a drawer with some demo uh, data sets, for example, MPX, MPG, Diamonds, and other um, data sets. There is a button to upload your personal or specific data sets. And for MPG and also Diamonds datasets, you have some options to run, for example, box plots, normality, and advanced statistical methods, for example, ANOVA and regression and neural networks and some other uh, statistical methods. And in the last of these options, you see that you can receive, uh, for example, plots in Spanish and in Japanese, in German and, and other uh, languages. And it's wonderful. Uh, and in, uh, in this uh, place, you need to write your sentences uh, and AI receive these sentences to uh, process and report uh, plots and, and other statistical methods. Now, uh, let's go to uh, run some examples, some plots and some statistical methods here. Okay, dear friends, here is Omar on YouTube channels with 155 subscribers. And last week I recorded and uploaded a video about multiple linear regressions in SPSS in one minute. And now I want to use this data set to run R codes in R tutor and with AI. To access and download this data set, you need to go to this address to this address and then click on a blood pressure xlsx then click on download raw files it means these buttons and save these data sets in your desktop or computers then go to our teacher and click on browse uh, select blood pressure and then click on dismiss or you can change the measure of every variables or click on dismiss and now we see that we have six columns with 30 rows uh, variables is uh, variables are age salt use exercise blood pressure and genders now we can write our sentence in our tutors to run uh, and to receive and run codes and receive uh, outputs. 
Okay, first sentence that I want to run is about uh, histogram plots. I uh, ask from uh, our tutor AI a histogram plot for blood pressure, blood pressure variables with, for example, eight bins. Okay, we click on submit and now we see that chat JPT uh, process and then write R codes. Then you can uh, copy these R codes and paste in uh, your R or R studio to receive these histogram plots. And other plots can be uh, histogram plots for blood pressure with eight pins given gender. For example, given genders, then we see that chat JPT now draw, okay, draw a histogram plot with gender one and two. Gender equal one uh, is for male participants and uh, number two for female participants. And then we see that histogram plots uh, is uh, given for gender uh, draw. In other part, I want uh, uh, ChatGPT to uh, test about normal distribution of blood pressure. Then I write here Shapiro uh, will test for blood pressure for blood pressure. Okay, Shapiro will test for blood pressure. And now we wait about ChatGPT. Then, okay, ChatGPT write these R codes, and we see that there isn't normal distribution for blood pressures. Or maybe uh, you need to run Durbin Watson test uh, for independent observations or check about autocorrelations. Uh, I speak about. Uh, uh, Durbin Watson test in uh, our last tutorials about two independent samples and uh, or about ANOVA uh, and or some another uh, videos that uh, I add this card, this video cards uh, here, and you can click on this uh, cards and uh, watch these videos. But now I want to write a Durbin, Durbin Watson test for uh, Durbin Watson test for blood pressure data set for blood pressures. Okay, click on submit. And now we see that to run Durbin Watson test similar to our R codes, for example, for uh, two independent sample t test, we need to first uh, part uh, set a model, a linear model uh, similar to this, then uh, run a Durbin Watson test, and finally uh, we see that uh, Durbin Watson. Uh, value is equal 0 0.05 and p-value is less than 5% and we uh, uh, conclude that we have not uh, independent observations and our observations have uh, positive uh, autocorrelations. <music>that I want to write here is about one sample t-test. For example, I want to uh, check about uh, check about equality of blood pressure uh, with value 120 um, mmHg and now for them I, I need to write one sample T tests for blood pressure, blood pressure, okay, with mu or mu equal 150. Then click on submit to see results. And now we see that the chat GPT write a code similar to this 
and we see that mean of blood pressure is equal to 140.57 and amount of T value is equal to 6.35 uh, and P value is less than 5 persons and now we can conclude that mean of blood pressure is not equal to 120. In, our, in another part, I want to run two independent sample t-test. To run two independent sample t-test, we need to separate blood pressures. Then I uh, uh, create a new variable named BPM is equal to blood pressure when gender equal 1. BPM is equal to blood pressure when gender equal 1. Then click on submit. Now check JPT create a new variable named BPM with this, with this values and in another uh, uh, times I uh, create a new variable named BP F or female is equal BPF is equal to blood pressure with gender equal to 2 and now we see that chat GPT create a new variable named uh, BPF and now we see that BPM and BPF listed as here now we can uh, run uh, two independent samples t-test. In other words, we have a zero hypothesis that blood pressure of male participants equal to blood pressure of female participants. Now then, uh, we write run two independent samples t-tests for BPM and BPF. Okay, run two independent samples t-test for BPM and BPF. Then click submit and check GPT analysis process and uh, show results. You can uh, copy these R codes and go to R studio and paste to see similar results in R, uh, similar to R tutors. We see that mean of uh, male and female participants is equal to 134 and 146 and the T value is equal minus 2.03 and P value is equal 0 0.05 and it's more than 5 persons and we can conclude that mean of male participants blood pressure is equal to female participants of blood pressure. In the last, I want to run a regression, a linear regression with a, a dependent variables named blood pressures and independent variables named exercise, salt use, and age. How to run linear regression in uh, our tutor? Then it's a simple. So I write to run a linear regression with dependent variables as blood pressure and independent variables in the dependent variable independent variables as age salt use and exercise okay now dear chat jpt please run this sentence okay wait 
some seconds and you see that chat gpt run a linear regression with blood pressure as the dependent variables and uh, age self use and exercise as independent variables now we see that uh, we have three independent variables p value for this is similar to uh, this output and we see that there is a linear and a significant statistical relationship between age and self use with uh, blood pressures and, and this output is uh, similar to and uh, in other words exactly the same as our studio uh, reports Dear friend, this tutorial is overdone and I speak about uh, chat GPT and artificial intelligence in statistical analysis and how can we uh, receive our codes or our studio codes and our programming without any information about our programming. But in the future, I want to speak about advantages and disadvantages of our tutor AI artificial intelligence then if you have not followed on more than YouTube channels press subscribe and notification buttons and also comment your ideas and comment about the quality of these tutorials and until the next uh, tutorials in the futures have fun